Hey everyone, this hot off the press, AMD's latest Ryzen 7000 series of processors and their accompanying X670E and X670 chipset motherboards have just launched. For this video, we'll get in on the excitement by taking a look at a X670E motherboard from ASUS, the Tough Gaming X670E Plus Wi-Fi. Let's get started. To recap, with the new AM5 platform, AMD will launch its higher-end chipsets first, starting with the X670E and X670, and then further down the road, the B650E and B650. The Tough Gaming X670E Plus Wi-Fi that we have here today sports the highest-end X670E chipset and sits within the Tough Gaming series of motherboard offerings that are targeted more at casual gamers, placing beneath the top-of-the-line ROG series of motherboards and above the more value-oriented Prime series of motherboards. As per the design language of the Tough Gaming series, the X670E Plus Wi-Fi comes in a box sporting a silver on black color scheme, with touches of yellow thrown in for good measure. Moving over to the rear, we get the usual summary of specs for this board. We'll run through these specs in detail later in this video. Opening up the box, we see that the board comes with a Wi-Fi antenna right here. Now let's set aside the board for the moment to see what other accessories ASUS has included with the board. And with the board out of the way, first up, we get two SATA tree cables. And these are accompanied by two packs of M2 drive screws and standoffs. Apart from these, we also get two packs of M2 drive rubber pads that add additional height clearance for single-sided M2 drives. Moving on, we also get a motherboard manual and surprisingly, a DVD driver disc even though optical drives are becoming a thing of the past. Moving on, we get a certificate of reliability for some of the components of this board. A sheet of Tough Gaming stickers, which is a nice touch. And an ASUS Web Storage Promotional Leaflet. Onto the board itself, we see that ASUS has gone for a black on grey colour scheme with small touches of yellow, again very much in line with the Tough Gaming brand identity. The board comes with an integrated IO shield design and has large black heat sinks with Tough Gaming motifs all around. In terms of onboard RGB LEDs, the Tough Gaming X670E Plus Wi-Fi has RGB LED accents in this corner of the board and they're pretty subtle in appearance. The VRM heatsinks for this board are pretty decently sized and ASUS has included 14 plus 2 themed power stages that are rated for up to 70 amps. The X670E has a dual chipset design and these chips sit beneath this large passive heatsink right here. For M2 drive cooling, ASUS has got you covered with M2 drive heatsinks for 3 out of the 4 M2 drive slots that this board comes with. For memory support, the Tough Gaming X670E Plus Wi-Fi comes with 4 DDR5 slots with support for up to 128GB of RAM and the DDR5 6400 Plus standard when overclocked, with plastic slots of a single tapped design. Naturally, the board also supports AMD's Expo technology, which is basically built-in overclocking profiles for DDR5 memory. Right next to the RAM slots is a set of QLEDs that can help with troubleshooting PC issues when posting. Further down is a USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-C front panel header and beneath it, a USB 3.2 Gen 1 front panel header which supports up to two USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type-A ports. Whilst you're on the topic of front panel USB connectivity, the bottom edge of the board houses three USB 2.0 front panel headers with each header providing support for up to two USB 2.0 Type-A ports. Eagle-eyed viewers will notice that the board also has a serial port header, a legacy feature that could come in useful especially in more business-oriented settings. 
Further to the right, we get a Thunderbolt add-on card header, which is to be used in conjunction with an add-on card that is sold separately by ASUS. The set card adds Thunderbolt 4 and additional DisplayPort connectors for your PC. In terms of expansion slots, this board comes with a PCIe 5.0 x16 slot with the ASUS Safe Slot feature which reinforces the slot. We also do get a PCIe 4.0 x4 slot and a full-length PCIe 4.0 x16 slot that operates at x4 mode. In the storage department, ASUS has included four SATA 3 ports, of which two of them are in a right-angled configuration and two of them in a straight-angled configuration. For M2 slots, it comes with a single PCIe 5.0 X4 M2 slot, two PCIe 4.0 X4 M2 slots, and a single PCIe 3.0 X4 M2 slot that also supports the SATA mode where the PCIe 3.0 X4 M2 slot is the only slot to not have a heatsink. All of these slots come with the Q-Latch feature, which facilitates the toolless installation of your M2 SSDs. Do note that the PCIe 3.0 X4 M2 slot shares bandwidth with the first two SATA ports, where if you have a NVMe M2 SSD operating at X4 mode in the M2 underscore 2 slot, the first two SATA ports will be disabled. For audio, ASUS has included a higher-end Realtek S1220A audio codec with premium audio capacitors. Wired internet connectivity is courtesy of a Realtek RTL 8125BG chip that provides support for 2.5 gigabit Ethernet, while Wi-Fi, on the other hand, is provided by either AMD's RZ608 or RZ616 parts, where both of them provide support for the Wi-Fi 6E standard and Bluetooth 5.2. Now which model you'll be getting will probably depend on parts availability at the time of the board's manufacture. In the cooling and RGB departments, the board comes with 8 fan headers which are located in these regions of the board. Also included are 3 addressable RGB headers and a single 12 volt RGB header located right here. Moving over to the rear I.O., the Tough Gaming X670E Plus Wi-Fi goes for an integrated I.O. shield design in black. The board comes with a DisplayPort 1.4 connector that supports 8K resolution at 60Hz, a HDMI 2.1 port that supports 4K resolution at 60Hz, 3 USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-A port, a USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-C port, a USB 3.2 Gen 2x2 Type-C port, a 2.5 Gigabit Ethernet port, 5 USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type-A port, of which this port here supports the BIOS flashback feature. BIOS flashback in a nutshell allows users to update the BIOS without needing a processor or RAM installed. This is accompanied by the corresponding BIOS flashback button, Wi-Fi antennae connectors, and your usual audio jack connectors. In conclusion, the ASUS Tough Gaming X670E Plus Wi-Fi packs a decent set of features for a motherboard on the new AMD AM5 platform. With PCIe 5.0 support for both the graphics card and a M2 drive, 2.5 gigabit Ethernet with built-in Wi-Fi 6E, great USB 3.2 connectivity options, all in a gamer-oriented aesthetic, the Tough Gaming X670E Plus Wi-Fi seems to be a compelling option for a mid-range PC build that is powered by AMD's latest Ryzen 7000 series of processors. With that, thanks so much for watching, hit the like button and get subscribed if you've enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you guys around the next time.